Today we'll be taking a look at three weekly builds, Anubis Synergies, Full Summons, and everybody's favorite Chicken Shop Scaling. Some builds are better than others, but I think they've all got merit. So check them out, let me know what you think, and if you were able to get these builds working, drop a comment below, let me know how it works, because some of these are kind of tricky to pull off. Just more Cuddle Toads. And more Silk Moths. For a guaranteed level up, I guess it's not too bad gold-wise. Can't say I love it, but could be worse. Alright, start me here. Then here. Two betta fish is interesting. I think we we gotta run camel here. Probably get a betta fish. I don't know if I'm missing something with the woodpecker. I get that you can like use it on your team, like sort of idea, but is that even good? Is that strong? I don't think so. Okay. Hey, hey, hey there we go. As we're talking about, let's just hold on to the pig for a second. Why get rid of him if we don't need to, you know? That's just like... What is that? Four gold stored up right there? That's not too bad. Alright, so we're getting some camel leech action going on. I guess the silk moth is buffing our pig. You know, for what that's worth. Obviously we're looking for some koalas or something right now. Take it. We'll take it. I guess Hedgehog would be pretty good. If we get like three Triceratops, then we go Hedgehog with the Anubis. <laughs> that might be a little too much, but hey, it'd be fun. Um, let's just hang on to the betta fish. I'd like to see, yeah, if we can pill first. I don't want to try to get him like level two and then get halfway and this is just a whole thing, you know? I'm not trying to get into anything crazy there. But this is looking good. Again, koalas are a high priority right now. Looking good. I mean, anytime you get three attacks off with your camel, you're probably gonna win. In all likelihood. Um, I don't think we do a second leech just yet. I do think we can do this, because the leech is sticking around. The camel might get replaced at some point with, uh, Triceratops. Oh my lord, dude. How many of these are we gonna find? Better fish immediately followed by a pill. Let's go porcupine, I guess. Again, hanging on to the pig. Honestly, like these three guys here, they're not really doing anything. But maybe that's okay. Maybe they don't need to be doing anything. They're just existing. Doing their thing. I guess we'll give you garlic. Um, so yeah, we could go Anubis. Maybe we do something. Grab Anubis, look for Hedgehog. <laughs> Another betta fish pill. Is it? Is it worth it? Probably. A little bit of that, a little bit of that. I'll keep the food dog if we need to. We just need somebody to throw in. Though Blobfish is not bad. I think I'm fine running a Blobfish instead. Considering the number of pills we've been getting, seems like a good idea. Okay. Ooh, okay. We finally get taken down. Speaking of pills. 
I don't think we put it on the Silk Moth here. I don't think we even really pill it on you. That's tough, actually. Who do we want? Anubis, maybe? Anubis, we could eventually get to chicken territory. Okay, good enough for me. In lieu of literally any other options. Um, I think Triceratops is more important. Or is it? Yeah, I mean, we're gonna get like an extra 2-2, two, two, maybe 3-3, three, three, throwing the chicken out. Do this. And then... I don't think we switch out the camel for the rock. There's an argument to be made there. Well, let's not do that. Too late for the koala, I feel like, right? Maybe. I guess at the bare minimum, it's keeping the Triceratops alive. For what that's worth. Looking pretty good. I mean, low key, the Silk Moth is still pretty useful. It's not like great, but it's better than nothing. Okay. Um, let's not freeze you. Let's try to find some good pets, perhaps. Hmm. Chocolate, sure, sure. Another koala. I don't know, koala feels like it doesn't need to be here, you know? Feels like a, an unnecessary unit. Especially this late into the game. Ooh, look at that silk moth coming in clutch, thank you. I appreciate you. Okay. Go here. Let's find something. Find something useful here. Because right now Anubis is doing nothing. We could give it a bed of fish to go on. Maybe that's worth it. At least for now. There's our hedgehog if we want it. It's not a level 3 koala angle. It's hardly even a koala angle at all. Yeah, we're gonna start running into some of these issues here. We gotta start picking up the pace. And the issue with doing the hedgehog Anubis thing is that we're just gonna get a whole boatload of hurt triggers on the other team too. So maybe we don't do that. Let's try to get you cooked up. Okay, give him a chocolate. It's kind of a weird setup we got here, I feel like. His weekly is a little funky in that regard. You're not really sure what to build anywhere. Alright, we'll take it. Um, so like we could do this. Level you. But like that's not doing anything for us. We could go here. Which is okay. We could throw in Wolverine next to a hedgehog. <laughs> but like, is that what does it for us? I don't think so. We'll keep the koala one more turn. Um, if we can find a chicken, I would do that in a heartbeat. Well, I guess we need Anubis higher up. Why can't chicken be tier four? That would make my life a lot easier. Which may also be the answer to my question. 
No. So close. Okay, we go here. There's the chicken. It's gotta be too late for a chicken, surely. Hang on to you. Hang on to you. Just keep it cooking. Okay, so <laughs> the Triceratops really wants to keep the koala in this game. Which I respect, but uh it's gonna make my life a little bit harder. Because I don't want to keep him in the game. Hey, let's just do this. We got the betta fish. Roman. Hey, that's a good hit. I'm glad we got at least one of them to go on the leech again. They're just neglecting the leech all day. Okay. That's actually kind of a strong setup we got here. With this ginormous betta fish, 12-6. That's kind of good. Loki. I get behind that. What do we got? Tomato? Hot dog could be good. I think tomato's better. Um, unless we just went mushroom. That might actually be better. Um, no, let's let's not. We got the, the tomato, let's let's see it through. Throw a lemon on you. Um, so the lemon is only going to lose one, I think. Like, we're only going to have one in battle. Which is unfortunate. But hey, sometimes that's all you need. What else have we got? I don't really know what to do, you know? What are we trying to, to focus on right now? <laughs> I'm not sure, I'll be honest. Oh, it still remains as a half lemon? Well, that's wrong. <laughs> that shouldn't happen. The half lemon, I'm, it's crazy Anubis hasn't gotten hit by the way. Um, yeah, it's supposed to refresh. That's how every other ability has always done it. Weird. Maybe eat me cake. A little something like this. Okay. There's also an argument to be made that the koala isn't actually doing anything anymore. Because this guy's already getting maxed out. Off by one. <laughs> we win, but, or we survive by one. Alright. Freeze the mushroom. Let's get a phoenix in here, dude. Let's... Let's stop lollygagging around. If we can find one. Um, okay. Not seeing any Phoenix out here. Or anything really. Eagle maybe. We got one more roll. Or we could just throw in a crane. Is a crane better? Crane better than, than the eagle? Probably. No, I don't think so actually. I'd want the crane where the leech is. But the leech, even though it is basically maxed out, still needs to buff the other homies. We'll give it another roll. Running like this. Mm 
the worst possible hit. There's something buggy going on at that, I think. It's unfortunate. The team fell off. It also, the Triceratops, okay, something weird is going on, right? Triceratops not hitting you or you even once <laughs> this entire time. I think uh, Team Wood needs to work on their RNG. It might be a little off. Just throwing it out there. Has anyone ever considered what a Cuddle Toad is actually supposed to be? Because I know it's in the Unicorn Pack. So surely there's some like lore backstory. Loving the three rabbit mouse, by the way. Um, but I've never heard of a cuddle toad before. Like, is that actually a thing that exists in nature? In whatever lore that is? I don't know. Probably. You have to imagine it is. Okay, good trades, good trades. We get the draw. That will be just fine. Give me a level. Into a... We'll go Foo Dog. There is an argument to be made for the others, but Foo Dog seems fine. And then we'll do it like this. So suddenly we have this ginormous Cuddle Toad. Because we just found infinity of them. I don't know how that happened, but we'll take it. Yo, Ant. Ant again. Another food dog. Maybe get rid of Silk Moth. Back another food dog. I don't want to get hurt triggers until... Well, I was going to say until we get a koala. But now we found a koala. Oh, that is just horrible. And then it hits this guy. What the hell? <laughs> I'm gonna chalk that one up to extremely horrendous luck. Just absolute worst luck you could possibly get. Alright, sleeping pill you. What do you got? Terrible. Um, let's go here. Throw in the fairy because it's good. Hang on to you. That's pretty good. Probably a faster way to get the fairy to the back, but here we are. How is this every time? Okay, we got the dog at least. So many times we're hitting them and they're getting- they have just the exact attack to take out our healthiest guy's health. Like, what is going on? Crazy. Seagull. Any seagull synergies? We got the easter egg thing again. Not very exciting, but it's there. What else? That's it. That's all we got. Pita bread. Doesn't really work that well. Alright, no seagull. Copy. Copy. Um, let's see. Don't really want the fairy. Could run a yak. Probably should. Any chance we get rid of this Cuddle Toad with loyalty? Loyalty with Water of Youth? Probably not. Um, I don't want to sell you yet because I kind of want to get the Tinder box going. We'll just hang on to the Koala. That's fine. Maybe we run a Pug because he's a 5'6". A little tutu buff on the, the yak. Or, like, what can you do? Alright, level you straight into a chicken is interesting. I can sell you. Which broom feels like the way to do it? Okay. 
get the pug cooking up. So we're basically getting 3-1 per turn on you. Dang, garlic is OP, what the heck? Go here, blobfish might be good. But who'd we get rid of for it? Don't want to get rid of the pug. You also don't love front running a low attack, high health guy in this weekly. For obvious reasons. What the heck? <laughs> We're not finding anything. Alright, well. So much for that. We didn't even find garlic. We found quite literally nothing that whole round. Alright, we actually managed to come out with the win here. Just because his team was absolute garbage. No offense. <laughs> Alright, we get you. Um, Yak probably doesn't trigger multiple times, yeah. It was take, yeah, and then gain extra attack. Okay, um, let's roll it out. And then if we don't find anything else, I'll sell the food dog for the eagle. There's a triceratops. Grab the eagle. We're not going koala here. Really the focus right now is getting you and you to just kind of scale up on your own. I mean, that's how that'll go. Let's get you leveled. Maybe we ditch the koala now. I'm gonna saber tooth. We could definitely run a secretary bird here. Alright, just for a second, let's do this. <laughs> just to make sure we don't like hard lose here. Okay, we're good. We probably didn't need to do that, but I just wanted to be sure. All right, get rid of you. Go here, here. Roll me. But also Orca. Orca's very good. And there's Phoenix. We get rid of the pug. That might not be a bad idea. Let's do it. Go here, and then... Get rid of the chicken? Yeah, probably. I hate to do that, but I think that's the way, the way it's gotta go. We're going full summons. You guys trying to Gatling Warg strat. Okay, looks like we're all right. Let's keep it going. Let's try to get... We want to do this. Get you leveled, because you're the most versatile. Okay, so we can get you leveled next turn. A lot of almost levels here. I guess there's an argument to be made not throwing out the, the homie yet, the chocolate. But here we are. <laughs> of 
Cool. Looking good. Now we get a level here. And then... Almost a level here. This we'll throw it on. If we have three gold, we'll use three gold. Okay, so we're getting a decent amount. A decent amount of triggers off the secretary bird. We just need to get levels, really. Gotta get some levels cooking. Good. Oh, baby. It's a pretty strong vibe we got going here. Um, this is not good. <laughs> We're caught in a little, little mix-up over here. Okay, apparently that's how that's gonna work. <laughs> Whatever. Um, it, the summons are fine. They're okay. I don't think it's worth in investing more time into, but, you know, try it out. If it works for you, let me know. Maybe we'll revisit if we find a new summon strat. But like, yeah, it's, it's not super fun. Yeah, I mean, having a second Silk Moth there is, doesn't really work. So I guess we'll go with the pig. And draw. Sure. Gives us a little more freedom here. Do this, and then definitely not trying to stack pigs here. It'll go like this. That's about to be expected. We got so, so low health on these guys. Okay. Start camel, but I also want a leech. So if we could make that happen. Please and thank you. Ooh, koala too? Roman? Mm. I don't think Silk Moth works here. So it's kind of weird, right? All of the guys, all the synergies for these hurt pet builds typically rely on... Uh, that's not gonna end well. Typically rely on being directly behind whoever's getting hurt. But that's also the only way to hurt in shop is with the leech. So you kind of get like that weird, you know, everybody wants to be behind kind of vibe. And that doesn't tend to work usually. Okay. I was hoping we'd find, you know, literally anything, but <laughs> that's not gonna happen, I guess. We go here, we go here. Just have this ginormous silk moth. Alright, now we're rolling for leeches. Koala is great. Another koala, great. As long as we can find a leech. There he is. Well, that went about as well as you could hope for. <laughs> we just got everything we needed right there. Alright, good stuff. So we're gonna lose here, but that's honestly totally fine. We're playing for long-term scaling. Don't need another leech, but maybe we take it for the level up prospect. Like what else are we really looking for? Aside from koalas and camels? Nothing really. You're getting one three per turn. You're getting three two per turn. I feel like that's gotta scale quicker than most of these guys, right? Yeah, scaling quicker than this guy, that's for sure. Captain Carl, <laughs> 07. Walking the plank out here. Alright. 
combine here. Beautiful. That is exactly what I was hoping for. Believe it or not. And then we're gonna do this. So while these two, or these three really, are kind of doing their own thing here, the chicken and whale are gonna start scaling. Totally fine. Not even a problem. And we're good. Oh my lord. Dude, imagine if we got another chicken there. Oh, <laughs> we'd be cooking. Um, yeah, so Crane doesn't work that well. Nurikabe, there's just not room for him, you know? We just simply do not have room. I already have the level 3 koala. Otherwise I would. Would be a good time for the camel, I would say. And then starting next turn, we're gonna get some of these homies cooking. Okay, he's gonna have a lot of trumpets. <laughs> a whole metric boatload of trumpets. Fortunately, it doesn't matter. Here's where it would be like, do we want to run Triceratops? Well, actually, with the chicken scaling, it's almost the same stats. And we're getting 3-3 three, three instead of 1-2. Kind of seems like a no-brainer if you think about it. Do we want to get the whale? Level 2. Perfect. Um, do we care about any tier 6s right now? Tiger, maybe. We'd have to hard pivot from this setup, though. Maybe we'll say not today. I'd rather have the rolls for these homies. Salmon of Knowledge is huge, though. Salmon of Knowledge is so good with this setup. Like, maybe good enough to just hard run. Sometimes you gotta kind of like, like is you're not processing quite quick enough. Okay, so right now the koala is giving 3-3 three, three per turn to the Triceratops. Here's what I'm thinking. We could be getting an extra 2-2 two, two per turn. Soon to be more than that on all of our future shop pets if we run Salmon of Knowledge. What if we just do that? And then we start doing some of this. Then we start doing some of this. And here's the beauty of it. If you get Salmon of Knowledge to turn tier two, sorry, level two, you get four experience on these two. So all I need is this one chicken, Salmon of Knowledge level two, and these are three threes. <laughs> it's like really strong. And I put a mushroom on the chicken, and then we're cooking. Okay, so they have a ginormous camel. Might be a little too much to handle. That's fine though. That's what we got the hearts for. We need to find the salmon of knowledge. There it is. I don't even want to freeze anything because the chicken doesn't scale frozen pets. And we're going to get an insane amount of shop scaling coming up. To the point where I think we get rid of the leech triceratops now. Yeah. Now they're on one heart, I think it's time. Get rid of you two. I think a crane is solid. 
I think another crane is solid. Give you a mushroom. I think another crane is solid. <laughs> All right, fantastic. If we survive this, we're gonna be so well off. That might be a big if, but I like that there are no snipes really in this week. Oh, we might be okay. Oh, dude, we're totally okay. Oh, baby. We just got 9-9 nine, nine on the shop in that one turn. How insane is that? Why am I even freezing a crane? Okay. Let's see. How do we want to run this? I guess we could do this, right? We go Phoenix. Is Phoenix OP? Alright, we'll greet it a little bit. Keeping these homies here. We didn't find any any anyone to stack on them, unfortunately. There's a chicken. That'll help next turn. Alright, we gotta get a little lucky here. This looks like our luck. This looks like we can handle it. Oh baby. Oh baby, we're doing it. Phoenix OP. I love it. Alright. Go here. I think it's time to stop with the Salmon of Knowledge. Maybe it's time to stop with the Whale? Actually, yeah, what if we get rid of the whale? We're still getting some chop scaling, don't don't worry. No need to fret. And then... Could throw another whale back in. <laughs> Roll me. We need something good. We'll sell the crane. We just need something good in his place. Not really anything great, to be honest. We could do a great one. We'll do a bad dog. We can summon a great one in, in battle. team. How do these teams win? We need to like figure that out. It really doesn't feel like they're doing a whole lot. But they still win somehow. All right. Man, if we could just find a salmon of knowledge, that would make my life a lot easier. Who are we looking for? Sabretooth is great. Really any of the tier 6s for the most part. Nurkabe is okay too. Um, so great one's basically maxed out. Maybe we run you. Even though you're gonna hurt everybody. There's our saber tooth. We can level up our chicken a little bit. And then I think we do the eagle instead of phoenix, just purely because of the the stats on him. We could also... There's, there's crane here too. Would not be bad. But yeah, so we're gonna get another 4-4 four, four in the shop, basically maxed out. This is looking like a solid, solid vibe we got here. Yeah, dude, we're surely this is fine, right? Surely we're good here. Even with the the Phoenix, Mr. OP Phoenix out here, love to see it. 
Now, what does that put us shop wise? Yeah, basically 50 50. Okay. Yeah, so again, just tier sixes, the good abilities, you know? That's what we're going for. I mean, it just can't be worth it to play Great One here, right? <laughs> like, there's no way it's worth it. I refuse to believe it. Let's take a Cornucopia. Pretzel. Five, six, six, five. We could get our Sabertooth up to 50. That's pretty solid. Anybody else you want to switch out? Or just get you up? That's really good. Okay. I mean, there's really no reason to get rid of the chicken at this point. We'll keep him around another turn and then... Maybe throw in an Orca? Maybe. You gotta imagine we're, we're in a pretty good spot here. Looking good, looking good. Yeah, I think we're alright. <laughs> I think we got it. <laughs> and there it is. That's some chicken scaling for you. It's a good time. I mean, the whale? Okay. Let's just take a second and appreciate the Salmon of Knowledge. They just carried that entire game. It gave us so many stats between the whale and the chicken. They were level 1.5 and it got them both to level 3. And then the, whale, the chicken and the whale eats the chicken and you know the whole thing. Salmon of Knowledge cooking out here. If you made it this far, odds are you're enjoying the content, and I've got great news for you. There's plenty more where that came from. Check out these videos here that YouTube thinks that you might enjoy, and I will see you all in the next episode. Have a good one.